Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Thursday, April 1st, 2021. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today or wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Uh, yes, it is April Fool's Day. Do not play pranks on me. I do not like it. Uh, it's also Major League Baseball opening day. LeBron James is now a part owner of the Red Sox. Interesting. Most airlines are now selling middle seats, so keep that in mind if you are traveling. There was also a mass shooting in California. I do not know when this will end, but it is tragic. So just keep those people in your prayers, of course. Uh, if you want to find out any more or missed any of that, you can find it below. Of course, you can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCone.com and on YouTube. Okay, I hate that I'm telling you this news and I really thought that it might have been April Fool's Day news, but I don't think it is, I think it's real. Legendary coach of my beloved UNC Tar Heels, Roy Williams is retiring. Look at Roy's signature. So, okay, um, so for those of you that don't know, I went to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, go Heels, for my master's degree. And yes, I went there pretty much because Michael Jordan went there and I'm a Chicago girl from the 80s and 90s. Now, they had one of the top communications program in the country. I got a full ride scholarship. Like, yes, all those things go into it. But really, I wanted to see basketball. I went to a division three school at Emory. I wanted to see a division one school. Like, there's no better basketball than this. And so to hear that Roy is retiring, one is so well deserved, but two, man, my heart breaks. These eras of Dean Smith and Roy Williams, I just, I can't imagine them ending. So I'm a little sad. The past two years, I've been able to take my kids to see the Tar Heels play in person before the pandemic hit. And I was literally the last person to get Roy to sign something. He came out it's a whole thing, but um, man, he came out after a game we went to against Yale and he was so gracious, but so caring for a teammate that had gotten hurt during the game. And I'm like, I just, I just got to get in line. Normally it's all my kids. And I'm like, I just, just got to do it. So I'm so glad I had that chance just to be up close with him. And I am going, have been trying to get him on the Sammy Cohn show and I will not stop trying. Although I would imagine it's going to be a little bit harder now that this news has released because first it was wait till the season's over and now this. So could be why it's been tough to get something on the calendar, but you know, you'll hear it here first if he's on the show. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. I do want to pray integrity over all y'all today. Okay. I'm not going to say that you don't have integrity if you play pranks. I hate pranks, hate them. So all I'm saying is that embrace integrity and just be kind to people that don't think or act the way that you do. And let's take a play out of Coach Williams' playbook and be the same person on the court as we are off the court and vice versa. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.